Ray Dolby is a true entrepreneurial pioneer in the field of sound recording and reproduction. From the high quality cassettes we play in our car stereos to the latest digital surround sound in movie theaters, we are constantly touched with the magic of this American inventor and his company, Dolby Laboratories. Ray Dolby's unique career began nearly 50 years ago when, as a high school student, he went to work part-time for Ampex Corporation in Redwood City, California, making alignment tapes for Ampex's pioneering audio recorders. A few years later, while still in college, Ray joined the small team of Ampex engineers who invented the world's first practical videotape recorder, which was introduced in 1956. He was primarily responsible for its electronics design. After graduation from Stanford University in 1957, Ray went on to Cambridge University in England, where he earned a PhD degree in physics. Then, after two years as a UN advisor in India, he returned to England in 1965 to start his own company, Dolby Laboratories, then and now an American corporation. The company's first product was Dolby A-type noise reduction, which dramatically reduced the background hiss inherent in professional tape recording. It proved so effective that it became a fixture in virtually every major recording facility in the world. Noise reduction may seem to be an esoteric idea, but its effects on the audio industry have been far-reaching. For example, the multi-track techniques that revolutionized music recording in the late 60s and early 70s came about only because of Dolby noise reduction. Dolby's next significant contribution was a simplified noise reduction system, Dolby B-Type, for home recording formats such as the audio cassette. Over the years, the audio cassette with Dolby noise reduction has experienced continuous technical improvements, making it the most popular medium for recorded music ever developed. Instead of manufacturing Dolby B-Type as he had done with the professional A-Type system, Dolby decided to license it to consumer electronics manufacturers. The company has followed this policy for all its consumer innovations ever since, while continuing to manufacture its own products for professional applications. The company then turned its attention to improving motion picture sound. Back then, when you went to the movies, you usually heard mono low fidelity sound from an optical soundtrack that hadn't changed any since the 1930s. Only rarely would you hear hi-fi stereo sound from a handful of films that were released with very costly magnetic soundtracks. What Dolby did was to apply noise reduction and other techniques to the old-fashioned optical soundtrack to get hi-fi multi-channel surround sound from it. This practical and economical new technique, originally called Dolby Stereo, took the world by storm with the release of Star Wars in 1977 and is the real reason why for the past 10 or more years most movies have been heard with multi-channel surround sound. Dolby's improvements in movie sound led to yet another major development home theater with Dolby surround sound. This came about because the original surround sound encoding on Dolby films remains intact when they are transferred to video cassettes and laser discs, or when they're broadcast on stereo TV. Today, there are thousands of programming choices that include movies, TV shows and sports events, CDs, and video games. In the mid-80s, Ray Dolby developed a powerful new system he called Spectral Recording, or SR. This was the time when digital audio was becoming popular for professional recording, but was very expensive. Dolby SR gave existing analog studio tape recorders a new lease on life, with even better performance than the new digital machines. What's more, when applied to film soundtracks, Dolby SR took movie sound to new heights and has now become the standard analog soundtrack format on almost all film titles. As the years went on, Dolby didn't neglect the audio cassette either. First, a new, more powerful noise reduction system called Dolby C-Type was introduced in 1981. Then came the ultimate cassette system in 1990, Dolby S-Type, which was derived from the professional Dolby SR system. Dolby S analog cassettes today are so good that even the most critical listeners find it hard to tell them from CDs. Even while developing advanced analog technologies, Dolby began to investigate digital audio. For all its virtues, digital audio takes up huge amounts of space, making it very difficult to store and transmit efficiently. What Dolby has done is to develop unique coding technologies that make it possible to record and transmit digital audio with less data while still maintaining high quality. 
Dolby's first digital audio systems were for professional applications such as satellite broadcasting and are still in wide use today. For example, one system called Dolby Fax enabled studio executives in both Los Angeles and New York to evaluate the soundtrack mix of Disney's feature Hercules as it was being prepared in Northern California in real time and without leaving their local screening rooms. The public first became aware of Dolby's digital innovations in 1992 with the release of the film Batman Returns. This was the first film to incorporate a brand new six-channel digital soundtrack format developed by Dolby and called appropriately Dolby Digital. It has since become the benchmark for state-of-the-art film sound. Like Dolby Surround, Dolby Digital is migrating into the home. The first format to adopt it was the Laserdisc. Even more exciting, Dolby Digital is the required multi-channel sound format for the DVD video disc, which combines multi-channel digital audio and a picture far superior to VHS tape on a disc the same size as a CD. Dolby Digital is also the sound format for the new U.S. digital TV system and it's being used in a host of multimedia applications as well. Of course, all this success didn't happen overnight. It took Ray Dolby's vision, not just to come up with specific innovations, but to recognize and effectively demonstrate how they could enable new recording and listening formats. It took the decision to manufacture professional audio equipment on the one hand, and to license consumer products on the other. And it took setting up not only R&D, engineering, and manufacturing facilities, but also unique licensing and film sound programs, widely regarded as models of their kind to bring Dolby Technologies out of the lab and into the real world, worldwide. Dolby Digital is the future of multi-channel sound. From its premiere in movie theaters in 1992 to its appearance in consumer electronics, Dolby Digital is the latest star to rise from the studios of Dolby Laboratories. If you've never heard Dolby Digital, you've never heard anything like it. But you will. Advanced digital transmissions from television, satellite, and cable are on a fast development track while Laserdisc and DVD are already here, all with the capability to present sound field spatiality and directionality far superior to any conventional audio system. In movie theaters, Dolby Digital delivers five full-range audio channels plus an additional low-frequency effects channel. This is the preferred way to mix motion picture soundtracks, and it fits the same home theater speaker arrangement already standardized for Dolby ProLogic reproduction. To administer medicine to animals is frequently a very difficult matter. In the course of a December yet, tour it's in Yorkshire, to do so. I rode for a long distance in one of the public services on the day the the preceding Christmas. Provoque un changement de temps, une baisse sensible des températures. With passengers who ride their tour, in the end of the day, the cyclone is assorted to the Spanish Spanish to eat the Christmas des perturbations orageuses sur la plupart des régions du Sud-Ouest. Laserdisc brought home Dolby Digital in 1995 with the full 5.1 channel bitstream in the space previously used for just one channel of FM audio. This fully preserves the CD quality digital audio soundtrack, the standard for stereo and Dolby surround delivery. Laserdisc's unique ability to carry three separate soundtracks 
Dolby Digital, Stereo PCM Digital, and Mono FM Analog all at the same time means these discs are compatible with every existing LaserDisc player and home audio video system. DVD was designed from the start to incorporate Dolby Digital, so there is no longer a requirement for a separate stereo audio soundtrack on the disc. Players with stereo audio outputs will be able to create a two-channel signal directly from the Dolby Digital soundtrack. It can be optimized to work perfectly with Dolby Pro Logic decoding or with conventional stereo playback. With Dolby Digital Multi-Channel Audio and MPEG-2 Component Video, DVD delivers a level of signal quality previously experienced only in audio video production studios. Here are some additional features inside all Dolby Digital decoders designed to optimize the performance of home theater systems. Dolby Digital provides a bass management system to match the audio signals to the types of speakers used. Whether you have full range speakers in every channel, smaller satellite speakers in a subwoofer, or some combination of both, the bass signals can be redirected to the speakers best able to handle them. Dolby Digital Bitstreams include a dialog normalization feature to reduce the sometimes big changes in listening level that occur when switching from one program source to the next. Dolby Digital offers the user a way to reduce the dynamic range when needed, based on control signals put into the bitstream by studio engineers. The high dynamic range of movie soundtracks is exciting, but not when baby's sleeping. Dolby Digital provides time delays for the center and surround channels to ensure all the sounds arrive precisely at the same time, even if some of the speakers are positioned a little too close, as is often the case. This aids in proper sound field reproduction. Dolby Digital ensures compatibility with all playback systems. 5.1 channel, Dolby Pro Logic, Stereo, and even Monaro are all supported. Once delivered, the audio may be further processed by special techniques intended to enhance the experience in a particular way. Some quite subtle, others very dramatic. This may be done by changing the frequency response and directionality of the sound and using special loudspeaker designs with unique radiation patterns, such as licensed by THX. Or by using sophisticated digital signal processing techniques such as Cinema DSP, you can recreate the sensation of being in a real movie theater. These are all options to be considered. And with careful selection and use, the home theater experience may be enhanced just the way you like it. Dolby Digital, the future of multi-channel sound, has arrived.
Thank <laughs> you.